protein is a chain of amino acids that are linked together by peptide bonds. You can picture a protein as a linear chain, sort of a necklace, made of single units, single building blocks, that are called amino acids, and that are bound together one after the other. This linear necklace will then fold in the three-dimensional space to acquire a characteristic shape which is what gives each protein its unique biological function. But if at any point in time we take a protein and unfold it, we end up with a linear chain of amino acids linked together one after the other. So amino acids are the building blocks of proteins, and our body needs to build thousands of different proteins for all its structural and regulatory purposes. But all these thousands of different proteins are made with only 20 different amino acids. The basic building blocks that we need to build, all the thousands of proteins that we may need to build, are always the same 20 amino acids. And by assembling them in different combinations and in different numbers, we can build all the different proteins that are necessary to our functioning and survival. You can think of phone numbers. We always use the same 10 digits, 0 through 9, and by combining them in different sequences, we can get billions of different phone numbers, each with a unique function. If we combine three of these digits to make 911, we call emergency. If we combine 11 of them to make 1-888-463-6332, we call the Food and Drugs Administration. But if we take these same 11 digits and combine them in a different way, say 32831836468, we would be calling somewhere in France. What gives meaning to the single digits is their sequence. And the same happens with amino acids. If we take the same amino acids but combine them in different sequences, we will get different proteins with different functions. One may be a digestive enzyme, the other an antibody. So you can easily understand that what we need when we eat proteins from food is not actually the proteins themselves. What we are really after is the amino acids. The proteins we eat from plants and animals all have their specific biological functions in the plants and the animals that they come from. Some of them are enzymes, some are structural components, and so on. But we don't care at all about these functions. We only care about the pieces, that is, the amino acids that these proteins are made of. This cartoon exemplifies what we just said. Each circle represents a different amino acid, and as you can see, they are linked together to make a protein with its biological function that is present in food. When we eat this protein, we don't care about its function, we just take the protein and break it down all the way to its individual building blocks, the single amino acids that make the protein so that then we can take these amino acids and reassemble them in a different combination to build the proteins that we need, with a different sequence and a different function that is not anymore in any way related to the original function of the protein we ate. It's as if we take a necklace, break it, get all the individual beads, and then reassemble the beads in a different sequence to make a different necklace, the necklace we want.